Okay. So my name is Sammy, and this is my Mighty Caspi tree. So first, you're going to go to Modify and create new object. This object is I'm going to name it Leaf Branch. It's going to start out as Object O, or Object One, or something. Um, but you hit the arrow. And it will give you options, and down here there's a rename variable button. And you will, and when it gives you the box, you will type in leaf branch. And hit OK. Then go into map. I'm going to create variable item and put 15 in the little box bubble thing. Wait. We're going to create variable spooky. And again, you hit the arrow and type in spooky. And we're going to do 300. You're going to go into math and grab an equation and type 360. Hit the arrow and there should be a slash. And it's divided by. So 360 divided by item. And then drop it in here. And then go to shapes and add a cylinder. Hit green and do radius 5, height 10, sides 40, edge 0, and edge steps 0.5. Then scale x 1.5, y 9.5, and z 0.75. And that should look like this. And this is your leaf branch. Next, you're going to create a new object. And this is going to be called shrub. And you're going to count with, you're going to control. And grab the count with button and count with J from 1 to item by 1. Where, you, where I put item, it's going to say 10. But you can go into data and grab the item bubble and drop it in, the, in this box. Go into data. data. Grab the item bubble and drop it into the box that says 10. And then you're going to add a copy of object which you will find in modify and you're going to add a copy of object leaf branch. You will find the new leaf branch bubble in data. And I'm going to put green, not the gray, because the gray will make it invisible. And then you'll have this weird invisible tree, and that's kind of weird to me. And you can make this pink or whatever color you want the top of your tree to be. And I put light green. And then you're going to go to modify again, and you're going to hit move at. Zero, Y twelve, and Z ninety. Rotate, oh, and then you're gonna go into modify again. Hit rotate, and rotate around axis Z by J. And you're, again, there's gonna be the little list. We're gonna click on this one button and. That's a times spooky, and you will get me J and the spooky in data. So you would get this piece like this instead of by 16. You go into math, get your math equation. 
times thing. And J and spooky. And grab it with your mouse. Grab it with your mouse. And move it up into until that little bubble lights up. That's when you know if you drop it, it'll go in that bubble degrees from pivot and that's going to be blank and you're going to put go to math and put in the x zero y zero x zero y zero z zero which is this button right here or zero 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 next you're going to create new object which you'll find in modify and everything purple you find in modify add a copy of object shrub and you're going to find the shrub button in, you guessed it, data, shrub, and drag it out to the add copy of objects. So there you have that there, so I'm going to put that in the trash. And hit the green button, or the multicolor button, not the gray button, or this will turn out invisible. Um, go to modify and add scale there it is scale x 0.85 y 0.85 and z 0.75 we're still in modify you will find the move button and move will be x 0 y 0 and z 3 Rotate around axis Z by 60 degrees from pivot. From pivot. Ooh. Zero, zero, zero. And then we're going to create object tree top. And we're going to add a copy of object flower. Which we'll find the blue flower button in the data section. Right about here. And you're going to hit the multicolor button. And then hit scale. X 0.85. Y 0.85. And Z 0.75. You're going to move it. And you're going to go into. Modify. Move X 0. Y 0. And Z 1.5. And it is now creating, pause it, the flower variable. So next you're going to create an object. And this object is going to be treetop 4. And you're going to add a copy of object treetop, make it green. Scale x 0.5, y 0.5, and z 0.5. You can find the create new object, add copy of object, scale, move, and rotate in the modify. And next we're going to drag out the move x 0, y 0, and z 1.5. Rotate around axis z by 60 degrees from pivot x0, y0, z0. Next, we're going to create treetop 5. We're going to add a copy of treetop 4, make it green, and scale x 0.85, y 0.85, and z 0.75. Move x0, y0, z 1.5. Rotate around axis C by 60 degrees from pivot 0, 0, 0. Okay, by now you should know how to make a treetop.
you will make three more treetops, including treetop 6, treetop 7, and treetop 8. All of the treetops have the exact same code, except you name the variable a different name. Next, we're going to create new object. We're going to create object loop. We're going to add a copy of objects, shrub, and make it green. We are going to scale, move it, and rotate it around axis Z by 60 degrees from pivot 0, 0, 0. We're going to create new object, loop 2, and add a copy of object, loop. And scale, and move, and rotate around axis Z by 60 degrees from pivot 0, 0, 0. Then we're going to create new object called trunk. As you might have guessed, this object is the tree trunk. It is the tree trunk. We are going to add a cylinder, and you can do your radius and height and size and edge, edge steps like I did, or different. But if you do them different, your project will come out different. Move Z50, scale 1, 1. V5, add another cylinder and hit that gray stripe button and do the radius 10, height 20, sides 20, edge 0, and edge steps 1. Scale X 0.5, Y 0.5, and Z1. Rotate around. Access X by 90 degrees from pivot 0, 0, 0. And move X0, Y4, and Z40. Now we're going to add a paraboloid. And this paraboloid has a radius of 10, a height of 20, and sides 24. And this scale is X0.5, Y0.5, and Z is 3. Rotate around axis X by 95 degrees from pivot 0, 0, 0. Yeah. Move X0, Y negative 25, and Z 60. Rotate around axis X by 30 degrees from pivot blank. And create group. When you hit create group, create the group in color. If you do not create the group in color, your tree trunk will turn invisible. Add a half sphere, make it green, scale it 111, and move it to the 101. Delete object leaf branch. Now we are going to create my favorite part, known as the monkey. Add a half sphere, scale. 0.4, 0.4, move, negative 30, and Z67, rotate around axis X by negative 9 degrees from pivot blank. Add a half sphere, scale 0.4, 0.4, move 0, move Y negative 40, and Z70, rotate around axis X by negative 9 degrees from pivot blank. Now we're going to create another cylinder, and the radius for that cylinder is going to be 2.5. The height for the cylinder is going to be 25. Sides 20, edge 0, edge steps 1. We're going to move this cylinder to negative 0.9. Y to... Move this cylinder to X, negative 0.9, Y, 40, and Z, 55. And then we are going to add another very similar cylinder, except instead of height 25, you are going to put height 20. And move this to Y negative 30 and Z 52. We are going to add a sphere. Make sure you put these, all of these objects in color, except for the object that was in color. In 
not in color in my code. Scale x 0.9, y 1.1, and z 1.75. Move x negative 0.9, y negative 35, and z 35. Now we're going to add another circle. The radius of both of these, the radius of the top circle was 10 and the steps is 18. The steps on this circle is 18, but the radius is 7. And we're going to move it to negative 0.9. Y negative 30, X negative 0.9, Y negative 35, and Z 15. Next, we're going to make a half sphere. Scale X 1.25, Y 0.9, Z 0.7. And rotate around axis Y by 90 degrees from pivot blank. Moon X6, Y negative 35, and Z35. Next, we're going to add a smiley face. And you can either follow the code for this rounded roof on my screen, or you can fiddle with it and make a code of your own. If you make a code of your own, it will probably not turn out the same as the code that is on the screen. Next, we're going to add another half circle. Rotate it around axis Y by 90 degrees from pivot plank and move it X 3.8 Y negative 35 and Z 15. Scale X 0.6 Y 0.6 and Z 0.6. Next we're going to add a sphere and the radius of this sphere is 1. We're going to move the first sphere to 4, x 4.75, y negative 33, and z 12. The next sphere will also have a radius of 1 and steps of 18, but you're going to move this sphere to x 4.75, y negative 37, and z 12. Next, we will add the tubes. The tube surveys the monkey's ear and follow the code on my screen. When you make your second ear, remember to change that 28 up there to a 41.2 down here. And change the 75 to a negative 75. Add a cylinder, radius 2.5, height 20. Size 20, edge 0, and edge steps 1. Move, negative 0.9, y, negative 25, z, 25, rotate around axis x by 30 degrees from pivot blank. We're going to add another half circle. And we're going to scale that half circle. O point x, 0.4, y. 0.4, Z, 0.4, and move it, X, O, Y, negative 18.5, and Z, 15. We are going to add another set of cylinders and half circles, and this set of cylinders and half circles will be very similar, but not the same to the other set. Make sure you make the height of this 20 as well. Make sure you put it at Y45 instead of 25 or the circles will, or the cylinders will spawn inside of each other. This is the code for the last two circles. When you are finished, your project should look something like this tree. Have a nice day and thank you for coding with me.